Hey everyone, this is Rajendran here. In this video, we're gonna learn how to upgrade OpenAlgo to the latest edition. So here I'm using an older version. You can see that the version is 1.0.0.4. So how we can upgrade to the newer version and what are the new features that you can get in OpenAlgo? So a quick tour is what we're gonna uh, go through that. So first let me open my uh, VS code. So let me stop my application. So control C that will break the application. And now I'm gonna say git pull. So the git pull command will upgrade the open algo to the latest version. And now if you go back and see the sample.env file, you will be seeing that the Flask application version is 1.0.0.8. Now this uh, new version comes with a lot more new libraries. So we also have to install newer libraries as well. So a pip install hyphen r requirements requirements dot text file. So which contains the libraries to upgrade. So just press enter pip install hyphen r requirements dot text. So that will be installing the newer Python library which is required for supporting the open algo. So these are nothing but open algo Pythonic uh, dependencies. So once the installation process is over, right? So readily we can start using the open algo. So a lot more changes, front end changes, a lot more new tool additions has been happened. Complete changeover, uh, I would say like complete makeover happened for open algo with more robustness lot of new security controls has been added, data validation, data validation, data sanitization. So a lot more things has been uh, done over here. Yeah, so now we can see like, uh, yeah, there is some error, but I think that is fine. Uh, more or less, uh, we are done with the stuff. Let me go and type Python app.py. So this should be installing the, I mean, this should be running the new open algo version. So let me control click on uh, 127.0.0.1 colon 5000. So this account is connected with uh, angel broking. So let me log in. So you can see that the front end interface has been completely changed. And uh, uh, we also have this uh, version here, version 1.0.0.8, the latest version that you're gonna see that. If in case we are not seeing that, you should be uh, replacing your .sample.env file to the env file. Then you should be able to see the version 1.0.0.8 and there is a new uh, feature which has been added later on i'll show you so if you go to the download section you'll be finding a fast scalper desktop a simple rust based desktop app has been uh, provided for cross platforms means if you are a mac user linux user you can are you a windows user you can run this application on any of your uh, uh, laptops right so maybe whatever the operating system which is your favorite operating system even under Linux we have this Ubuntu Debian Fedora and uh, Linux app image so this is for Windows users and here is for Mac users so Mac uh, whether you are using the latest MacBook Air with an Apple uh, M1 M2 or M3 or you are using the pretty old uh, Intel chips so it comes up with all the flavors and in my case, it's going to be desktop. So let me also download it and I'll also install it. In my case, already it is installed and you can see that the installation is already available. In my case, already I had installed this. So this is like fast scalper. So it's a small, tiny rust based uh, desktop application for scalpers and you can launch as many uh, variation you want, right? as, as many instance you want, you can, uh, uh, you can make use of this. And you can move wherever you want. Now, let me go and log into the open algo here. So I'll go to the home and then from here, I'll go to the login. So one of the thing what we had done is like we completely removed all the brokers uh, logos, right? So, and uh, let me go and log into the application. And even if you, once you logged in, you'll be able to see all the 10 brokers. Yes, now open algo supports 10 brokers. The latest broker was like Zebu, right? So Zebu is the latest broker edition. And I'm also trying to integrate Shunya as well. So very soon you can see Shunya. Uh, there's a lot of demand for the Shunya app. So very soon we'll be integrating Shunya as well into our uh, OpenAlgo. 
and let's say for time being i'll go and log in with one of the broker here let me connect with the account and let me log in with the client details okay i need a totp so let me go to my authenticator so from the authenticator i'll get my login details i mean the totp password and then let me log in that's one of the test application though so the application has been logged in and uh, yeah we, we, you can clearly see that the version is 1.0.0.8 so the first thing is like what you go to the api key and generate the api key so let's say i'll go and uh, show the api key i'll copy this api key now this api key is what i'm going to configure in my fast scalper so let's say for timing i'll close all the fast scalper i'm going to maintain only one so here is the settings i can go to the settings maybe if, if you want i can also maximize it i can set the api key and uh, the url host url is going to be the same url where the stuff is running so let me set the api key here and exchange is an nse and I want product to be MAS. If I want voice alert, I can enable the voice alert as well and press OK. So that will get saved and just minimize it. It gets back to the smaller application. So now this is more of a tiny application to place order. So you can set the symbol here. The symbol is open, I'll go symbol always. And quantity, you can set it over here. And if in case, if you want to set the exchange and other stuff, you can always go to the settings and you can set the exchange from here and the product. So CNC is like uh, carry forward, uh, cash and carry. And NRML is like uh, FNO derivative positional. MIS is more of an intraday. Suits for both equities and uh, derivatives, doesn't matter. So once all the settings has been saved, now it's all about uh, LE is like a long entry. If I press, automatically it will be sending a uh, long entry order, which you can see it in the order book as well. You can see that it's there in the order book. Right, so and LX will be closing the open position. Only if the open position is there, then only it closes the open position. So we are using the smart order feature to close the open position. Uh, if I try now, nothing will happen. Uh, it will try to send zero quantity. It will try to close out the open position, but already there is no open position at this point in time. So nothing oh, will happen in my case. Yeah, it says like it is placing order, but you can see that the order ID is null. It is not punching the order because I don't have right now any open position. If any open positions are there, whatever the open positions are there will get completely closed off for that particular symbol and for that particular product. Here the product is what? MIS. And SE will go short. So this short will try order. to take a fresh shot over here. And SX will close the shots. So here you can see that readily, you can see that it's getting into short. Right now markets are closed, so it is getting rejected. And uh, yeah, so as I said, you can open as many fast scalper you want. So just launch the fast scalper from here. It's a tiny application, so it's quite robust, fast. And you can also see that uh, the sound, uh, you can you can get it over here. Let's say I want to say like idea here. I can send By this order. for idea, right? And uh, let's say I want a short, short idea. Order. I can able to do that from here. And I can readily see it in my order book. Or you can uh, open your trading terminal and you can watch it in your uh, mobile trade terminal or from your desktop trading terminal. So whichever the terminal or web terminal, whatever the terminal that you're comfortable with that, you can always watch it there as well. But let's say uh, there are many people's uh, questions like, I want to place order from trading view. Can I do that? I want some sort of button. So these fast scalpers are the alternative to place those orders. So let's say, I'm having like, let's say BHL charts here. So here is the BHL charts. So I'll get that BHL charts and I can keep it close to close. So whenever I'm seeing some opportunity and I'll be able to By place order. orders instantly. And you can see that the voice alert, you should have been able to hear that. So that is natively getting generated from the fast scalper itself. If in case, if you don't want to turn this off, you can always go to the settings and you can remove the voice alert and you can then later on you can place those orders right that is what a fast scalper is all about and uh, yeah right now in windows it support multiple instances but when i try to launch from mac or from linux it is it supports hardly like single instances but if you are a windows user you can launch as many instances you want and you can configure as much you want so maybe if in case if you have any uh, suggestions or improvements so maybe you want more controls 
you can always raise as a feature request in our github so if you know uh, you can go to open algo so from here you can go to the github so you can see the, all the social media links you can uh, suggest if you have any queries you can suggest or you can raise under issues so if you are facing any issues you can raise it over here or if you are uh, having any feature request which you think that could be good looking good if, if if you have it in open algo you can definitely raise it over there if more people are requesting for a particular feature definitely we will give priority for that and of course yes open algo is free to use free to consume it it's you can have the complete open source code you have you just have the complete open source code so you can build on top of open algo and absolutely the licensing format has been changed earlier it was like gpl3 license but the modern license has been like agpl 3.0 license is what we moved on for that is another small change that we had done and um, yeah a lot more uh, new features are we are planning for a lot more new features but then uh, we thought like we'll try to upgrade uh, we, we'll try to fix some sort of a uh, lot of security issues uh, we upgrade the, the tool to some modern technology and then we'll start building features so that is what right now i'm working on so i'm just trying to uh, upgrade some of the some of the weakness what are the weakness that we find in open algo we are we are strengthening that and uh, we are trying to make the application more robust in terms of security in terms of data validation in terms of data sanitization so all the uh, new uh, features what are the features that we had launched over the period of uh, last couple of months you can see it under the uh, under the uh, version change log if you go to the documentation there is a change log here so it's the latest one which we had launched version 1.0.0.8 and there are also a lot more new modules we released for ME Broker. So a lot of modules we had released. And uh, I'm also working on uh, uh, right now like uh, TradingView, some of the TradingView modules right now I'm working on. So very soon you can expect those modules as well. And uh, yeah, so very soon you can expect more TradingView Python based modules as well. I hope this clarifies what are the new features which has been added. So new brokers has been added. Some of the new features like uh, Rust based fast scalper has been added. And uh, yeah, so more API has been changed to more robust and security measures has been added. So that's what new about open algo, including the front end changes and a lot more design changes, small, small, minor bug fixes. So that is what we had done in the last couple of uh, months, right? So. In the next video, I'll, I'll see you soon with more interesting content. Thank you once again. Bye-bye.